Bloomies are forever. Hello, good morning. It is Monday morning and we are shipping things that sold this weekend. So I have six items that sold this weekend and for having less than 70 items in the eBay store, I'm pretty impressed. The first item that sold is a Barrett Jackson auto auction t-shirt. My husband drove um, the three and a half, four hours over to West Palm Beach, stayed at the auto auction, they gave him a free t-shirt, and then drove the three and a half, four hours back all in one day. <laughs> um, so I sold this, he didn't want it, it doesn't really fit him anyway, the biggest size they had was extra large. And I sold it for $5.59 plus shipping, and shipping was $4.99. So let's fold this. I think I could even lower you down a little. There we go. So this is going to ship first class mail. Hello. That was my doctor's appointment. I have a scheduled appointment within 30 days. Yep. <laughs> okay, so this is shipping first class mail because it's so light. We will put it in a plastic bag. This is just to protect it from the elements. I would love to try some biodegradable options, but I have a lot of um, supplies. I was gonna say overstock. I don't know if that's the right word. I have a lot of supplies, so I wouldn't buy something more until I have a little less. There we go. That way, if the mail carrier smokes or somebody else has a scent in the air or gets left out on a porch that's wet, who knows? It is going to ship first class mail, and so we can put tissue paper around it. This is shipping to Lari. I'll put some raffia around it. Lari is also in Florida. to put one of these custom-made hearts that say you are enough along with a business card. My business cards all say the same thing and they say you are enough. You are so enough. It is unbelievable how enough you are. Flip it into a poly mailer. This was one that eBay sent me for free. And let's give this away. Eight point nine ounces. So we round up. To nine ounces and the cost from me to Lori both in Florida is three dollars and 82 cents she paid 4.99 so I made made about a dollar in shipping which is fine I'm okay with that and let's go ahead and purchase the postage Thank you so much, Laurie. And the next person we are shipping to is 
Jessica. Jessica ordered a pair of men's New Balance golf shoes. I listed these, Bear found them at the Goodwill bins. I, I probably wouldn't have purchased them if it was just me, but he knows golfing a little bit more than I do. Everybody knows a little bit more about golf than I do, honestly. And he picked them up and they sold within like two hours. So they went for $19.99 and $8.30 shipping. And after we got home from the bins and did our video, Bear cleaned all of the shoes. So to do that, he soaked all of the shoelaces in a light bleach and then cleaned them all up. So when I took my pictures, I didn't put the shoelaces back in. It's just gonna cause my fingers a lot more work. So I'm going to just ship the shoelaces inside. And that way if they don't use them, that's fine. They don't have to put them in, but they're there. Yeah, these sold um, almost immediately, incredible. So the first thing I'm going to do is stuff them with some cheaper um, tissue paper. way they won't smush down as easily and now I have to determine what size box so I believe this person's also in Florida they are they are in Northport so that's about hour hour and a half north of us I think we've been to Northport before my husband and I for Goodwill bins let's see I think they're gonna wrap individually in bigger bags which are 12 by 15 They paid $8.30 for shipping. These weigh almost two pounds without any packaging, so I know they're going to ship at the three pound rate. So I have a few different options. The first one is a shoe box. I don't know that they're both going to fit in this. Maybe. Nope. They're not going to fit well in this. option of creating two boxes with this one so if I had a second box I could literally just tape them together but my other thought is I have a ton of blanket boxes which I purchased for 90% off of um, the retail price at Target so these cost me about 29 cents I believe 250 so they're 25 cents My thought was to wrap these. Yep, that'll work. Okay, let's wrap them up. Now these weigh just over three pounds. No, that's not true. These weigh just over two pounds and will have to ship at the three pound rate. So I'm going to make my own box using half of a blanket box, which I picked up after Christmas at Target for 25 cents. Let's 
put the shoes in there. Let's wrap them up with some tissue. vertical slit right after the shoes stop. And that will allow me to fold a little bit of the box. I'll show you what I did for the bottom. I'm just going to cut the box completely in half. This is the box top. It does not have to be perfect, just one cut. And then the boxes can be made into a longer box or a shorter box. ship it out like this I might put some more tape in it but I'm going to put this in a large poly mailer it weighs just under three pounds these large poly mailers are great for things like comforters or if you're shipping a lot of clothing but they're also great to just slide in boxes I mean, this box will stay, but I'd have to use a lot more tape if it was just being shipped like that. There we go. So let's put in the weight. And from me to Dr. Jekyll, it is $7.39 for three pounds. Wonderful. Print postage. Thank you so much. Clean up some of this. Now let's move on to my next item. The next item was from one of those Indo trading boxes. It is a very lightweight, not your daughter's jeans, size large tank, with some really pretty embroidery. And Kimberly purchased this from North Carolina. What a great top for summertime. It has been so warm these last few days. Bear and I are we're gonna do it. We're gonna hit the beach here soon. Maybe today. We'll see. Tiny little thing. Let's put that in one of our smaller plastic bags. These are eight by 10.
we have an electrician coming by today. We had this issue a few months ago. Farron and I did everything, everything within our power to watch YouTube videos and contact places. And he knows a little bit about electricity, but we couldn't figure it out. So we hired somebody by the hour and $85 later, we had a working outlet. Only one outlet had blown on the entire fuse. It wasn't the fuse box. It wasn't anything we could come up with. So he fixed it and he's like, you're good to go. He was in and out within 10 minutes, which was awesome. Fast forward until now, the exact outlet blew again and everything else is working on that outlet. The fuse didn't trip. We replaced the fuse, Bear replaced the fuse. We've replaced the outlet. We've purchased something that detects electricity. We cannot figure it out. So rather than go back to that first person who never really told us what was wrong and that was on us, we, I'm sure we could have asked, but he was like so in and out and he's like, it's done. We are like, what? Like, he was so quick. Um, I didn't even have time to get over to that side of the house. So we decided to go with another company who's coming in today. Hopefully will tell us not just fix it, but tell us what is happening. It could be, this is a 1979, 80 house. I don't know, but I'm excited to learn a little bit more than I know now. <laughs> Throw this in a poly mailer. Trying to use some more of these tiny poly mailers. eBay gives um, people with a store certain levels of credit. I think it's like $10, $25, $50, maybe more than that, depending on what level store. And I hardly ever use their supplies. So I need to talk myself into using their supplies more because they're not the prettiest. Sorry, eBay. You need some good designers on your team. Okay, the cost for Kimberly's $7.99 blouse and she paid shipping is $3.22. Purchase postage. Yeah, if eBay could get a team together and rather than just make bags like this, they're, they're okay, but they should make fun bags. And print. Thank you so much, Kimberly. Next item. These were the bin, a bin find that I found and I was unsure about. They're so slimming by Chico's. Um, they're a pair of like seersucker shorts with a very large comfort waistband. I just wasn't sure about these. So let's see what I paid for these. I know we paid $1.59 per pound. And these are 7.8, so let's round that up to half a pound and let's do 150. So I paid about 75 to 80 cents for these and they sold immediately, immediately, immediately for $10. So not bad, even after eBay fees and um, PayPal fees and everything. I'll probably make a little bit on shipping too. That's not terrible. I washed them as I wash most things, but yeah, I'll take $5 profit. <laughs> Not bad. And Sherry is in Georgia. I'm going to guess it's getting warm in Georgia too. The other morning I went out and as soon as my arms hit the air, I just had the biggest smile on my face. I, it just makes my, my heart just warm and wanna burst with joy when you can feel that warmth on your skin and your bones feel warm from the sunshine. Oh, I love that. Okay, Sherry, let me get you a business card. And we'll put a you are enough in there. Bear and I have 
finished making the bulletin board behind us in the living room and it turns out pretty great. I went, I had to go to Hobby Lobby and pick up a few things in that color palette. As soon as we realized, oops, as soon as we realized our color palette was going to be pink, orange, yellow, we went around the house trying to find everything we could in that color. Nine ounces is how much this weighs. And she paid $9.99 for the shorts, $4.99 for shipping, and my cost was $3.88 first class mail. Purchase postage. So we knew that color palette was gonna be our aqua, because everything is aqua in our house, and then pink, yellow, orange. Kind of like a sorbet, sherbet color palette. So we did, we just went around the house looking for those colors and pulled everything out, which wasn't much as you could imagine. Oh my goodness, if we ever have a red color palette, we have like two items in the house that are red. Um, and then I needed to supplement. Thankfully I had some envelopes, like some greeting card envelopes that were in those colors. So I cut those down. I made those into poster type things. So I went and picked up Hawaiian Lays. In, and I cut them apart and made flowers out of those colors of the lace. But I have a whole bunch of like jewel tone, purple, blue, greens left over. Um, a piece of scrapbooking paper and two things of acrylic paint. And then as I was checking out, oh, oh, and some big um, pom pom y things that were on sale. So I spent about $10 total, and that included our beach bum sign, which I picked up for Bear. Thank you, Sherry. So I'll show you that after I finish what I'm doing. So that was a big weekend for us. And of course, Bear had to play and sing. The next item I have had for so long, and I'm so glad somebody's going to purchase this. Somebody purchased it. It is Chico's Design, which is their older label. 100% linen, made in Turkey. It is, oh, this would have matched the board. I could have worn this, right? Darn, opportunity lost. Well, Colette, Colette will, oh, what a pretty name. She'll match the board now. That's so funny because one of my shorts, and I only have like three shorts, pairs of shorts are up on the bookcase. <laughs> I'm like, well, I can't wear those shorts now. I folded them into a book shape and um, they're just kind of sitting there. Okay, let's do this. So this took a long time to sell. There we go. And I don't know why, because linen usually does pretty well. I don't know. It can't be the size. The size was like a large, probably. I don't know. Okay, let's see what tissue paper the yellow in the butterflies matches. So that's nice. And Colette is in Tennessee. Colette is such a good name. You could call the baby Colette and nickname it Letty. Probably even Lottie. Love that. Somebody have a baby and name it Colette. Hi. Some package toppers. She paid $7.99 for the top and $4.99 for shipping. She's in Tennessee and this will ship first class mail. I get a big poly mailer. My husband's drum set should be coming from Pennsylvania today or tomorrow. He is pretty excited. Thirteen ounces. He's now played drums with a few people, 
and the shipping is for my cost five dollars and twelve cents so she paid $4.99 my cost was $5.12 so I'll eat that 13 cents but honestly I made back you know like 75 cents a dollar so it all just whatever I'm fine with that um, yeah he's really enjoying playing drums And print. I'm sure he'll enjoy it even more when it's his own drum set. Thanks, Colette. And the last package. This is a Babo, Babu, Bobo by collection by Babo in a size extra large. It had the original tags on it and came from the Indo trading box. I loved this dress. I sold lots of some of the items that were a little bit lower priced, but I kept this one because this, this print was just beautiful. Navy with, with lemons. So when I went to Hobby Lobby, yesterday, the day before yesterday, someday, to supplement the board, I thought like I would love to have something like Lily Pulitzer-esque to put in the frames. So I checked scrapbooking paper, I checked fabric, I couldn't find anything with just pink, yellow, orange. And I thought maybe a citrus print would do it, but there was a lot with green in it and I didn't want green. So some other lady told me to go to fabrics.com, which was really sweet, but I just wanted like a very small piece. So we, we did put a print in it that I found I had. Um, I bought a planner on clearance at Hobby Lobby I don't, weeks and weeks and weeks ago for $1.49. It was a 2017 planner, but I, I just wanted it for all the papers inside. And that's what we used. We used one of the uh, papers. <laughs> okay. This feels awfully heavy for first class now. Let's see. Poly mail are on top just in case this doesn't work for first class mail. I need to put it priority now. I don't want to waste a poly mailer. Oh, we're okay. It's 13.2 ounces. Anything up to 16 is first class now. Okay, so we round up to 14. And they paid $19.99 for the dress, and Deborah is in Florida, and she paid $5.59 for postage. My cost is $4.98, so I made $0.61 cents in postage. Print, purchase. Yeah, I was quite taken with these little wooden things. I'm going to keep one or two in my pocket. You just never know who you're gonna run into and it's the saying has always always stuck with me and this is the last thing I have to print this morning thank you Deborah so what I'm gonna do is go through and use my washi tape and just for fun just put a piece or two on each each item stickers, I'd stick them on there. Here we go. Put those out for my postman and come back and show you the board. Happy 
Friday. I had a few things sell last night, so I thought this would be a good conclusion to our shipping video. The first is Ralph Lauren Lauren Jeans. It is a modest skirt. These used to do much better in my opinion, and I'm sure it's because the size was a little bit small. Oh, oh, that was exciting. I just, I just had something sell that I listed yesterday. Oh, fun. Let's see what the waist size was. The waist is, oh, it's a 30, really? Okay, well, I would suggest looking up modest skirts before you pick them up. I've sold so many over the years and they just don't seem to sell as well as they used to. So this sold to Judith. Judith is in, where are you Judith? Let's guess. She's in New York. We didn't have to guess. And she paid $5.59 and $8 for shipping. This might have been on that first class mail, priority mail border, but she was charged by me, priority mail, flat rate of $8. And so we're gonna ship it, priority mail. My mom just put up her second video and she's so good on YouTube. It took me so long <laughs> to even be able to get to the point I'm at now. She's so good. ribbon on this skirt. It is gorgeous here. Bear and I went to the bins yesterday and although we didn't find a ton of stuff, I think it was totally worth it. So maybe we'll go again today. I don't want to push it. I was struggling yesterday before I went, but I feel good today. Okay, let's see what the weather app says. The weather says it is 83. It feels like 84. Look at that 10 day. Today's supposed to be 93 degrees. 93, 94, 91, 91, 91, 90, 90, 90. Love that. It is Memorial Day weekend. So that means we will be nowhere near the beach. <laughs> My mom and sister came down I don't even think I lived here at the time, so maybe I flew in. I did, I flew in with them. Um, I don't know, maybe five or six years ago before I got sick, and and we went on Memorial Day weekend, and it was crazy. So we are going to put a pearl mask and a business card on top of Phyllis's package, and slip it into a padded flat rate mailer. Again, anything you can fit in this on eBay is $7.33. You took this to the post office, it'd be $8, but eBay gives you that discount, so I don't even have to weigh it. Okay, Phyllis padded flat rate. We are good, seven dollars and thirty-three cents. With the um, tissue paper being more of a premium cost, I would say, which means I I think I pay about fourteen or fifteen cents per sheet of tissue paper, plus a little bit of ribbon, plus the extras. If I make you know a dollar on shipping, it's not a big deal in my mind. Everything evens out. Thank you so much, Judith. The next item is a pair of Hudson pants. Here they are. These were for my Indo Trading box, and I did cancel my Indo Trading subscription. I did pretty well with those boxes overall, but the cost just kept going up and up. And even though the quality was there, and it was so much fun to get those boxes, uh, 100 pieces of brand new Nordstrom and Nordstrom rack, 
items, yes please, but at $10 or $12 a piece, it's just too much. So I did cancel that, but yeah. So if you're still interested in Indo trading, you might want to do some of your own research at this point. Slip it into a plastic bag. So Sarah in Massachusetts paid $14.13. And she paid $8 for the shipping. These are the High Rise Heartbreaker Boot Cut Jeans in a size 26. going to ship in a flat rate priority padded mailer. And we will put a pearl mask and my business card on top. I wasn't sure if I would get my FabFitFun boxes this season because I wasn't like super into any of the things. They had a bunch of not lower cost items, but I just wasn't sure. Like, there's only so many exfoliating masks you can have, or, you know, skin cleansers, or whatever. But I did decide to buy a few because I had some credits. So those shipped yesterday, so we'll say about this. Okay, so I'm going to print this priority mail padded flat rate. To Sarah in Massachusetts, my cost is seven dollars and thirty-three cents. Yesterday, I took pictures before we went to the bin, and then I listed a few things last night, and one of those has sold. I love when that happens. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, the next item. The next item I purchased for myself, um, and I'll tell you why. I swim, <laughs> I float really. I, I don't do too much swimming wise, but I go in the water a lot. And it is really hard to find a swimsuit that doesn't cut right at my like hip area. Can I show this area? Like right there because um, that's where I have a lot of nerves that just bother me. And Ann Taylor Loft Beach, about a year or two ago, had just a few pieces where the elastic in the front of the leg wasn't stitched. So normally, you know, elastic in a swimsuit looks like this, and this had no stitching down. So it's a very soft kind of rollover look. So I found one of their swimsuits at a thrift shop and realized they made them. I got it. It was a couple sizes too big, but it worked just to like go hang out in the pool and I just like clipped it in the back. It's no big deal. So I thought I definitely have been looking for another one. This one's a size 12 swimsuits. I just never know what size I am because honestly, most of my clothing is just like soft cotton pieces that people send me or oversized t-shirts. So I got the 12, I got it in, it's too big. So I'm looking for a size 10. I could probably do an eight. But if anybody comes across this Ann Taylor loft beach, kind of no pinch, I'm calling it, swimsuit where the elastic at the front has, has no stitching and just rolls over, definitely get it there is a market even if you don't sell it to me i put no pinch in the title that's what other companies are calling it there is another company that makes this no pinch front it's not elastic but we can call it elastic um and they go for hundreds of dollars now mine i priced at twenty dollars and i must have had a sale because it sold for 18.50 sold within days um when i took it out of the package this part was not attached, and I mentioned that, but I am going to reattach it 
I have a tagging gun. I've had one for ages. I don't use it that much. So I'm just going to put this back. The person won't care. I mentioned that it wasn't attached, but just like that. So if you have um, numbers you want to put on it or you don't want somebody to return something without knowing if they wore it, make sure you get some kind of tagging gun and a system. All of that to say it sold $18.50 and Nicole in Florida paid $4.99 to ship it. I am going to pad these cups a little bit since they are a molded cup. I don't want them to smush. You can see, you could do that with bubble wrap or just cheap tissue paper. And then when I put it in the bag, maybe I even need a bigger bag, I do. When I put it in the bag, I'll make sure there's lots of air in it. So right now I have to go back to that really too big swimsuit, but at least I can pinch it in the back and tie it off. Or um, shorts, just true Nike shorts that don't have a liner. It's really hard to find swimsuits that don't hit that area. Okay, enough of my problems. sheet mask and a business card. You know what? I'll throw in some of these lens cleaning things since I have a gajillion. And this is going to ship first class mail. I'm going to put it in um, a bigger poly. This is a 10 by 13 and I'm going to put it in a 12 by 15. is 11 ounces. It's 10.7, so we round up to 11. Uh, my cost is $3.85. And again, Nicole paid $4.99 for shipping and $18.50 for the swimsuit. I had eBay bucks to purchase the swimsuit, so I think I paid out of pocket around $9 or $10, and the rest was eBay bucks. So even though I made money on that, it was just helpful to get a swimsuit into my house that I knew might fit, it didn't fit, and then um, resell it. Thanks, Nicole. And the last item, surprise, surprise, I think I put it back in the lanai, so I'll have to grab it. Okay. This was something Bear and I found at the bins the last time we went, which I want to say was early May, and they charged me by weight. I just want to make sure at the regular Goodwill they had it $3.99. It didn't sell. And so we were charged $1.59 a pound. And this weighs under two pounds. So it was less than $3. Um, it's not in fantastic shape, but it had all of the pieces. It is a latch, a latch hook kit. That's what we're calling it. And let's see if this fits in a 12 by 15. I don't know if it's gonna fit. If it doesn't fit, I'll put it in a trash bag. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna fit. Nope. So here's a regular trash bag. And all I'll do, it's clean, it's unscented, is I'm gonna cut off a good bit of the top because I don't need that much. And then because everything I ship 
gets put in some kind of plastic layer, I will use this. Okay, there we go. We're gonna set that to the side. And I am going to ship this in a blanket box. And this is shipping in state. I don't know where Belle Island is. Belle Isle. Belle Isle. But it's clearly not close. Yep. So what I'll do is I will cut straight down the box. So it creates a smaller box. Perfect. And then I'll do the same with the top, but this one I'll just leave flat since I know that'll work. And we'll set these to the side. I'm going to line the box. To line it so that if this is left on somebody's porch, etc., you know the deal. It won't get crushed, broken, anything like that. So I'm going to use one of the You Are Enough wood signs as a topper and a business card. Let's get some ribbon. There we go. Now that is all tucked in, I'm going to bring the plastic up over top of it. And I usually just twist it into a little bit of a rosette, but of course you can tie that off. box top to cover it. So this is what it looks like with half of it. And then I will just put the other half over top of it. And I can slide it. So we have a perfect box for it. And I'm just going to secure it with some tape. just ship this in the mail. I don't want to use tape for all of the corners though, which might get caught and ripped. So I'm just going to slide this into a poly mailer. So I have large poly mailers. This one is 24 by 19. There we go. So Barbara purchased this for $34.99. There were a few others on around this size, around this period. It was a vintage complete, which was nice, but I took everything out and showed it since the box was already kind of dented and I did uh, disclose that. But there was one on for a 50. I saw some sold for about 30, 35. So I put mine on for 34.99. It sold, yay. And she paid $7.85 to ship. Now, if this had shipped across country, it would have probably cost $13, $15 because it weighs between two and three pounds. So I round up to three pounds. And that's why I'm always so glad <laughs> when something ships in state. And my cost was $7.39. So, yay. I went with calculated shipping on this one because if it did ship to Hawaii, California, Washington, Oregon, that whole thing, um, I wanted eBay to calculate that because it cost $7 and something in state and probably the tri-state area and it would have cost a lot more. And um, that is my last item.
Thank you, Barbara. Okay, so for the rest of the day, I have some cleaning up to do. Um, we found a bunch of Converse shoes, I think five or six pairs of really cool Converse shoes the other day, um, completely free on the side of the road, just sitting there, Converse shoes. So Bear is going to clean those up today. He has off, which is really nice. I think he has off this whole weekend. So we plan on doing some house stuff if I'm able to, and I think I might talk him into going back to the bins. I had such a good time yesterday and it's helping me feel okay. <laughs> like we, we only purchased maybe 10 items and spent 20 something dollars, but to walk out of there with things I was excited about and not just necessarily like, I'll get $5 for this, I'll get $6 for this. We really, tried to pare down, which was really helpful in my mind, and I don't feel overwhelmed at this point. At this point. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave feedback, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye. Hello, guys. Today, I am going to build a rose. And I hope today you give me 10,000 likes, but I haven't made merch yet. In five, four, three, Two, one. If you have give this video a thumbs up, you will get another video of me. A friend of mine plays the cajonas. That's a little box you sit on it with your hand. The cajonas? Yeah. Oh. But, oh, the cajon. Oh. Cajon. <laughs> Maybe, cajon. Maybe cajonas or something else I'm thinking of. We hope your day is blooming with joy.